So our groundbreaking study with the Presage group created some great new callouts for go-around situations. But what about programming your FMS during a diversion? Let's watch how this could play out in a real situation. Well, it'll be good to get home. Got that basketball game coming up this afternoon and I got to I wonder if that coach is going to get there, but I can help him. Okay. On glide path, on ref. And 18, uh, 75. And tower uh, 396 double mics with you uh, inbound for uh, 28. Uh, excuse me, 3-4. Three, 396 three, Delta Mike, uh, be aware there's a, a aircraft that is incapacitated at the intersection. Uh, execute the published missed approach and hold, maintain 2000. Okay, 6 Delta Mike, publish miss. Autopilot. And 2000. Autopilot. 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 Landing gear. And it's heading 2000. Pile it on. Um, six Delta Mike, we are level 2000. Citation Six Delta Mike, uh, looks like the airport's going to be closed uh, for the next three hours. Uh, state intentions. Three hours? Uh, six Delta Mike, we like, we're going to divert. Uh, we're unfamiliar uh, with with the area. Uh, you have any suggestions? Citation 96 Delta Mike, uh, Teterboro is 20 miles southwest of your current position. They're taking vectors for the ILS runway 6. Expect a circle runway 1. ILS 6 circle. Uh, 6 Delta Mike, uh, okay, uh, what's the identifier for, uh, for Teterboro? 96 Delta Mike, uh, Teterboro is Tango Echo Bravo. Tango Echo Bravo. Okay, do I... Oh, great. <laughs> uh, okay, do I get rid of this flight plan? If I go delete flight plan... What, what's... Uh, okay, 6 Delta Mike, say again the uh, identifier, please. Six Delta Mike, Teterboro is Kilo Tango Echo Bravo. Kilo, Kilo Tango Echo Bravo, enter. And uh, Six Delta Mike, uh, say again that approach, please. Uh, citation Nine Six Delta Mike, contact New York approach. 126.4 for further instructions. 126.4, tell the mic. David clearly wasn't expecting or prepared for the go around. Did you notice a few other mistakes he made on the go around? Replay the video and see if you can catch a few. During an unplanned missed approach and diversion is no time to be learning how to program your FMS or to be trying to come up with a plan B. The CJP SOPs call for the pilot to identify an alternate regardless of weather conditions. An aircraft landing gear up on the runway, uh, overrun of a runway, unscheduled TFR, all of these can and have caused an airport to close even in good weather conditions. Knowing where my destination is, rather than letting ATC try to assign an alternate that may not be appropriate for where I intend to go, I can identify ahead of time, Stewart has a long runway, it has a citation service center, and maybe it's close to my fictitious destination. When David deleted the flight plan to change his destination to Teterboro, he also wiped out the missed approach that he was instructed to fly. We are able to, in the G3000, load an approach to an airport that's not in our flight plan. We don't have to change our destination to change the airport to which we want to shoot the approach. So I could put in my alternate as Stuart, 
let's just say that today the ILS-9 is what I'm going to want to do, and I know I'm going to want to do it via radar vectors. I can load this approach now without changing the missed approach I'm actively flying. But then when ATC begins to give me vectors for this ILS into my alternate, the approach is ready to be activated. Let's look at how this would work in a G1000 NXI setup. Similar to the G3000, if we delete the flight plan as David did, he's going to delete his missed approach procedure, not be able to fly the missed approach clearance that he was given. Rather, we can select a procedure and we can manually change our airport to our alternate that we've identified ahead of time. Let's say we're going to do the ILS-27, we anticipate radar vectors. We can now come down and load this approach. But even with the approach loaded, we're preserving the missed approach from the ILS we just executed. Our next approach is ready. When ATC begins vectoring us, we just have to activate vectors to final. If we anticipate an initial approach fix, we could load that as well. And then when clear direct to the fix, we could activate the approach. Let's look at now the same location on the missed approach, but in a CJ3. We're going to again simulate that we're flying the published mist initially, so we can't set up our alternate in a way that compromises or deletes this published mist because we're still navigating along it. In the Proline 21, when we loaded our flight plan initially, we have the ability to put an alternate in. In accordance with the CJP SOPs, we're always going to want to identify and load that alternate. And then a nice advantage of that is we can also check our fuel to our alternate. So en route, we'll have an idea of should we need to divert what we'll be landing with. We also have the ability, if we have a specific route that we anticipate flying to the alternate, we can go backwards from our active legs and we'll be able to put in legs to our alternate. So for example, if I think I'll be cleared to a VOR before my destination, I can put that in. And then if I want to, in my MFD menu, I can show any of those fixes or legs that I built. So now I'll see where my alternate is, and then if I had multiple legs to the alternate, I could view those on my MFD as well. Neil, that's great information that we can all use. Check out our library of over 25 safety videos. Be sure to go to the safety tab on citationjetpilots.com. Until next time, safe flying.